Now that we are at this point, we obviously stop elastics. And now we're looking at the uneven overjet. I'm gonna show you that in a second. First, let's look at our updated pan. We took that in um, October, yep. We're looking for root parallelism. And over here, I see maybe a little discrepancy. Over here, I see a little discrepancy. So let's see what we did October 9th. This was the appointment before we see them today. We refit a power chain to tighten up all the contacts. And that's coming out of the realization that we do have overjet. And this is what I'm trying to show with the pictures here. Looking from the front, it looks like we're closed. But looking with a mirror, see how you have less overjet on the patient's right. A little more in the center, a lot more on the left. So sometimes when you end up with uneven overjet, I take those pictures to see when I consolidate the rest of the space that I have, what will the difference be next time I see the patient. And at this point, all we're doing, we have maintained a class one. We're consolidating the remaining of the space to see if we can get everything closed without the need for restorative. He did start with small laterals, so that's always an option. And if I go back to the consent, I hope I discussed that with the parents. What's the first thing we're gonna check tomorrow? Exactly. How do we check space closure? Plus. Yes. You guys are awesome. Sometimes you can't see it, you have to feel it. Okay. What if the space is still open and we have overjet? We are reapplying the power chain. Correct. New five to five in this case. What if the space is not closed, but we have no more overjet? That's why I took the pictures of the mirror, how I look at the overjet. I'm looking at the clearance. What do I do next? If I'm, I'm out of overjet. The discussion is this. Are we happy with the overjet? Yes, we're done with closing spaces until we either IPR the lower or discuss restorative with mom.